Not only that, uh, folks from the Pentagon have visited his lab back in 1983 for four months. They videotaped everything he did. Okay. Have you been personally so in touch with that. him? Yes, I have. Okay. And uh, one of the series on my website uh, is uh, something like uh, 911 Anomalies and the Hutchison Effect. Okay. Give, give folks the web, uh, web address so they can t- take a look. Uh, my website is drjudywood.com. That's okay. D-R-J-U-D-Y-W-O-D dot com. So ten and characters. At the, at the end of it, ten characters. D-R-Judywood.com. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Okay, because people and are going to try to type doctor, and they shouldn't. It's just D-R. Okay. Oh, right, right. Okay. And if you put a slash WTC at the end, you go to my Cliff Notes page. Okay. Well, click Cliff Notes from the home page, and that shows you a variety of these different categories of evidence. And later on down that page, you'll see a section of Buffett effect, and side by side, some side by side comparisons of um, images we've seen at the World Trade Center. But also right below that is something even more striking. When I started looking at how the fumes were coming up, I wanted to get a better look to see how far up it went. So I went looking for weather satellite images. And, and by golly, uh, did you know there's a Category 3 hurricane right outside of uh, New York yeah, City that morning? that's right. Yeah, just offshore. Never did hit the yep. shore, though. It went the beeline straight to New York City. Like it pulled up to a chalk line. At 8 o'clock in the morning, turned around. That afternoon, started heading out of town. Heading out to sea. Okay, what what do you, and, uh, what do you what do you make of that? What do, what's the connection? What's the potential connection? Well, uh, how John Hutchison uh, creates the Hutchison effect, which is you know replication of Nikola Tesla's work and a few other people, he enters um, with within a static field other types of energy um, fields like like uh, microwave and uh, radio frequency signals. With the static field he creates with either a Tesla coil or a Vindograph generator. Is this similar to the Hart project or no? No. Okay. No. So we're literally uh, talking about a machine that can vaporize not liquid but metal. Yes. I wouldn't say vaporize. A new phenomenon phenomena needs a new word. That's why I use justify. What was the word you used? Dustify. It turns into dust. Dustify. Okay. Well, that's certainly certainly what happened that day. I mean, the thing that's amazing, Dr. Wood, is that there has never been a collapse of a steel frame structure due to fire in the history of the planet Earth up until September 11th, 2001, when we had three of them, at least three, and there's never been one since. Uh, There are actually uh, seven buildings destroyed that day, um, and there are three, there are four skyscrapers. Right, right, several skyscrapers Uh, destroyed. Those gets no respect. Yeah, we won't use the word collapse because I know you'll scold me, but there were four buildings that (laughs) disappeared. (laughs) Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. building three completely disappeared except this little stub at the bottom Mm -hmm. in which there were survivors. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? I can't. They're on the first floor, Mm -hmm. and the rest of the building disappeared, and they walked out. They walked out. Yeah, yeah, I've always wondered about that too. Let's go back real quick to the South Tower. You mentioned we were talking real briefly about the top of that tower just before the general disappearance was leaning away from the rest of the structure. In fact, it was leaning away with some increasing angular momentum, which would have led the casual observer to believe that the top of that tower would have fallen away into the plaza, you know, done a lot of damage, but left the rest of the building intact. Instead, what we see on the film clearly is as those towers are leaning away, or those floors are leaning away from the general structure, then, boom, the rest of the tower, as the weight is being removed, suddenly... Right, to, right. ...to disappear. Hey, you're an engineer. <laughs> what, what, say that again? You're like an engineer. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm just a layman. <laughs> layman who looks at pictures and makes some common sense determinations, that's all. But what do you... Not so common. <laughs> Go ahead. Not so common? Uh, sorry. Uh, well, because, the, the top... look, the common citizen doesn't want to look at this. Right, right. Because yeah. they, they want to believe that their government is kind and benevolent and you know cares about its people. And to suggest otherwise is to 
present an entirely new paradigm that they just can't handle. You've seen the movie where, what's that movie where the guy keeps saying, you can't handle the truth. Well, that's, that's what we're dealing with here. Most people can't handle the truth. Am I right? Yes, I, I think you're, well, I, yeah, I, you might be right. I'm not sure, but you might be right. But the, uh, the alternative is unthinkable. Mm-hmm. That's right. So it really accept is. the truth. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, the, uh, okay, so the tipping top of yeah. Tower 2, yeah. where it's tipping, it tips over Building 4. So let's go look at Building, you know, where, where it would have landed. Mm-hmm. Ah, but Building 4 is missing completely. In body. Just the north wing is left, and it looks like it's severed and cut off with an exacto knife. And wow. the main body is gone down to the ground. You can sweep it up just about. There's a couple of heat checks down there, but that's about it. And I've got a photo from, from right under, you know, the, the next story down. And it was intact. Wow. All I can say is, wow. Pretty, mm-hmm. So what, when I had uh, figured out all of this stuff uh, several years ago, I filed a, a whistleblower uh I became a whistleblower with NIST and filed a request for correction. Who did you file it with, Dr. Wood? Who who did you file it with? NIST. Who? Uh, My request for correction, NIST. Okay. Uh, National uh, Institute of Standards and Technology, for those who don't know it. Yes. Okay. And based on that, I then filed a KETAM case, a federal lawsuit against the contractors of the NIST report defrauding the American people. They committed science fraud, and I named every single, single uh, one of what you know what what they had done. Like for example, uh, Underwriters Lab uh, mock-up of an entire floor. They set on fire for twice the temperature for twice as long, and they could not get it to fail to support load. Yet they signed off a report saying the fire did it. That's fraud. Yeah, sure is. Well, have you had any you response that, uh, from anyone at NIST or anywhere? Uh, that wasn't the objective. Uh, okay. Did you know that the main uh, 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 contractors on the NIST report are the main, uh, some of the main manufacturers and developers of directed energy weapons? No kidding. They were the, the highest number. How do you how, uh, do you have any documents on that? Oh yeah, and that's why I named them in my federal case that I filed. And uh, the lower court denied it. The, the, of course, they brought out all the lawyers on the other side. Uh, there's 23 defendants. Um, they uh, they, uh, they denied it, saying that they're contended there were bombs in the building. No, that wasn't my contention at all. Right. And they also... Uh, they the jumped to that conclusion no. because they can't imagine what you're describing or what you think may be out there. That no. No, think of all the disinformation that goes on the internet, stating, stating thermite and bombs and building and whatever else. Right. Mm-hmm. And I get mushed in with those, and so that's what my statement is. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No, that's right. No, that's I'm just right. saying what my evidence shows. And and so we uh, appealed it to the higher court. We even got an eight-minute time in court last summer. Which court? And uh, uh, the. Court of Appeals in, met in New York City. New York City, okay. Is that where you live now? No, no, but that's where the, the that's case where you filed. filed. Okay. Are you still at, yeah. are you still at Botech or where are you now? No, I'm in South Carolina. South uh, Carolina, Clemson. Yep. Clemson. Yep. Okay. All right. Now let me um, go ahead. I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off, but it. Oh, and and then so we uh, uh, submitted it to the United States Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, being an ongoing case, I couldn't talk about it. So I wasn't allowed to talk about it. Uh-huh. But uh, nobody is the, Convenient quote, truth movement. Why did anybody know about it okay. either? Okay. Uh, and, oh, oh, wait, sorry. The Court of Appeals uh, uh, upheld the uh, dismissal, stating that uh, they had to, they were ignoring the law in order to do so. Wow. 